what I'm saying? And now he done gathered Israel, and Israel is dwelling safely. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem going to be safely inhabited at that time, right? right? So now that ended battle number one. That's when it ended, when the Lord came. Now, we understand. Don't forget safely. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. This is where they this this is is, is where the so-called Bible scholars mess you up at. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 38. Mm -hmm. Cause they tell you all the time, you listen to them sometimes. You know, I listen to them not necessarily to learn, but just to find out where they're coming from. You know, you're gonna call a man a lie, you gotta phrase him, don't you? Right. <laughs> and yes, I am calling him a lie. Yes, I am. And the word of God called them one too. Because they tell you what we're about to read here in this 38th chapter of Ezekiel. They tell you it may happen any day. Yeah. Be any day Russia might come down on, uh, Israel. Uh, on, on Israel. Uh -huh. Any day they tell you that. That's what all of them teach that. Read, 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 you ain't got to take my word for it. Listen to them or read some of their books. All of them saying that uh, uh, Russia might come down any day up on the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. Don't forget this word safely. <laughs> safely after the Lord return. Mm -hmm. Then he going to gather Israel and they going to dwell safely. That's right. Israel have not been gathered yet, have mm -hmm. they? Because the Lord said when he gathered Israel, I'm going to bring all nations down mm -hmm. into the valley of Jehoshaphat, right. and I'm going to judge them now. That ain't happened yet, have it? Mm -mm. So Israel ain't been gathered yet, have it? No, sir. Okay, keep that in mind. Now let's go to Ezekiel chapter 38, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Oh, this is going to happen, but not no any day. This cannot happen until the Lord returns right. and Israel is back in the land That's right. dwelling safely. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel chapter 38, and I want you to begin reading at verse 1. Ezekiel 38, start at verse 1. Go ahead and read. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince. Prince of Meshach and Tubal. Now, now you know we're dealing with Russia here. You know you got God, Magog. You're dealing with Russia. That's what we're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. You know he says, "Set thy face against God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal." We're gonna come back here, back up to the thirty-seventh chapter. And pick it up at verse 19. 37 and 19. Another way I know Israel ain't been gathered. Th 37 and 19. Go ahead and read. Say unto them, thus saith the Lord God. Uh -huh. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellow. Go ahead. And will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick. And they shall be one in mine hand. So now you know you had Judah, and, which was uh, the two tribes that became known as the nation of Judah. You had the ten tribes that kept the name Israel. Now the Lord is, and they split. 722 B.C. they split. And they ain't never came back together. You understand? That's right. Because the Lord had, uh, 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 I can't call the name of, of the nation. Now he had them to come down and take out the ten tribes. That's right. Assyria, thank you. He had Assyria to come down and take out the ten tribes mm -hmm. around 722 B.C. And then Judah was finally taken out the last time mm -hmm. in 70 A.D. Mm -hmm. And they have never come back together since there's been that separation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read on. 20. Now, and Lord, say, I want you to put them back together. Go ahead, read on. And the sticks wherein thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. Go ahead. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, uh -huh. whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. Now he said, I'm going to take them everywhere they have been scattered. Not out of Egypt, but out of everywhere that they have been scattered, and I'm going to bring them into their own land. Go ahead and read on. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. Go ahead. And one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Now, do, uh, do, do we have uh, Israel as one nation? And mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what else the Lord said. The Lord said, at this time, when I do this, 
that I'm going to gather them out of everywhere they have been scattered. In other words, they ain't going to be an Israelite nowhere except in the land of Israel. Right. Even if he try to get away, he ain't going to get away. That's Lord, right. I got some Gentile that's going to grab you and take you back to the land looking for a blessing. So you ain't going to be able to escape. If you're an Israelite, you're going back to that land. That's I don't right. want to like you going. That's right. <laughs> now, when you get there and you start acting up, <laughs> That, that, that might be it for you because Lord said, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take you to the wilderness right. and I'm going to purge out the rebels. Mm -hmm. So, but now, so don't, it, when, when you go, because you're going. That's right. <laughs> don't act up, okay? okay? Just do what you're told. That's, That's right. what you do. Don't even murmur. Because I can go back and read you what God did to Israel when they murmured. That's you understand? Right. So, stop the murmuring. Right now, Israel, because Lord ain't going to have that murmur. Right. Go ahead and read on. 23. Go ahead. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things. Wait nor a minute. Now, you still got some Israelites that's involved in idolatry, don't you? That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Even if you said the ones that's in the land, they're Israelites. They're involved in idolatry. Mm -hmm. So now, whoever you want to make it, if you want to tell the truth and say that we are the Israelites, we still involved in our dodge right? And if you want to lie and say those people are the Israelites, they are still involved mm -hmm. in our dodge. But now the Lord said when I take Israel back, he said neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols. Go ahead and read on. Nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people and I will be their God. See what the Lord said, I'm going to save them out of all their dwelling place wherein they have sinned. So shall they be my people and I will be their God. Go ahead and read. And David my servant shall be king over them. Where David at? He dead. He dead, ain't he? That's right. But we understand that David going to be in the first resurrection. But when the Lord gathered Israel, he's talking about David mm -hmm. going to be king over them. Go ahead and read on. They shall also walk in my statues and observe my statues and do them. Well, Israel truly ain't doing that. If you, if, if, if you think they are, just show up somewhere tomorrow and, and, and say, you know, uh, uh, do y'all observe the statues of the Lord and walk in them? They'll tell you quick. That you ain't got to observe them statues anymore and walk in them. Amen. But the Lord said when he gathered Israel, they're going to observe his statues and they are going to walk in them. Go ahead and read on. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, uh -huh. wherein your fathers have dwelt. Go ahead. And they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. Uh -huh. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. So now again we see... You know, Israel have not been gathered. Mm -mm. Now, we read earlier when they be gathered that, again, I take you back to this word safely. Don't mm -hmm. forget that. Let's go now to the 38th chapter, and we'll pick it up at verse 1. 38, and begin reading at verse 1. 38 and 1. Israel is back. Now they're back in the land, and as the Lord said, they're dwelling safely. Go ahead and read on. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, uh -huh. Son of man. Set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Uh -huh. And say, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O God, uh -huh. the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So now he said, you know, now, uh, uh, now I'm going to deal on you. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I use you, the word Babylon. Yeah. Now I am going to deal on you, O oh God and may God. Now remember, what they teach you is that what we are reading here in this 38th chapter of Ezekiel, uh -huh. that might happen any oh. day. Mm -hmm. They say it all the time. Russia is going to come down on the land of Israel any day. Be ready for mm -hmm. it. Go ahead and read. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. Wait a minute. Persia. You know who Persia is? That is Iran. That's right. Isn't Iran allied with Russia today? That's right. Isn't Ethiopia allied with Russia today? Mm -hmm. Isn't Libya allied with Russia today? Now he said all of them, all of your allies, and all of them even howling swords. Go ahead and read on. All of them with shield and helmet. Go ahead. Gomer and all his band. Uh-huh. The house of Turgomar of the north quarters and all his band.